Welcome into the Game Changers podcast. Today is Friday, March the 8th, and it's not going to be a long episode today, but we wanted to just go ahead and give the gymnastics team some love and get Jensen Scalzo on the show because of the type of season they're having um, and just the, the big meet they have coming up this weekend against Oklahoma. Um, that'll be against number one Oklahoma, the top-ranked team in the nation. Um, that'll be at 345 inside of Bud Walton Arena. Yeah, they're switching over from Barnhill to Bud Walton like they do uh, pretty much every year. Arkansas is ranked number 12 and is fresh off of a new record-setting uh, performance they, they had in their meet at Missouri. Uh, in that meet, Arkansas scored a 197.650, which set, like I said, a new program record, um, which is kind of crazy because it broke one that they set earlier in the season at Alabama. So um, really great season for the gymnastics team. Also in that meet against uh, Missouri, they set a new beam record, 49.575. Uh, so the Razorbacks are rolling right now. Um, and they have OU and Nebraska coming up at Bud Walton Arena. Um, those are their two last meets before they start entering their uh, postseason play. Uh, they they have the SEC tournament on March the 23rd in New Orleans. Um, so, yeah, we're going to dedicate this episode to that team and have one of their leaders on there. So after a short break, we're going to have um, Jensen Scalzo on the show. You don't want to go anywhere. Get the latest breaking news on all Arkansas Razorback sports at wholehogsports.com. Our award-winning reporters and photographers go beyond game recaps to bring our subscribers the most trusted Razorbacks news anywhere. With expert analysis, the latest in recruiting, plus unique and compelling stories of your favorite teams. Subscribe today at wholehogsports.com. Well, happy to be joined by Jensen Scalzo of the Arkansas Gymnastics team. Jensen, thanks for taking time to do this. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, we have Jensen on because, like I mentioned, a really big um, meet coming up this weekend in Bud Walton Arena. First of all, I just want to ask, what's it like whenever y'all switch over to getting to compete in there? It is so fun. The energy the fans bring in there, it's it's unreal. We love competing at Barnhill, but when we get to go over to Bud, it's, it's just so much fun, and we look forward to it, like, all season. So now that it's finally here, we can't wait. Are there any sort of like challenges, I guess, as far as like logistics wise, whenever y'all switch over? Because I'm sure you're so used to just doing things over at Barnhill, like locker room, stuff like that. Um, I think the biggest thing with scheduling and stuff, they just have to, we have to link up with basketball and see their schedule because obviously they're so generous and let us use their locker room. So we actually use the women's locker room when we go over there. Um, But not really. I mean, we've been doing it for so long. It's not much different. Well, that's still our home. It's still our home atmosphere. That's why we have you on because Jensen is a senior. She said she's been doing this so long. Um, I just want to talk about just the career you've gotten to have here at Arkansas. Um, does it feel, first of all, does it feel real that you're kind of like, you know, winding down? No, it flew by so fast. <laughs> um, talk me through a little bit how you ended up at Arkansas. Like, I mean, from Florida, um, I'm sure that maybe Arkansas like probably wasn't on your radar for much yeah. of your life. Yeah. So when I was getting recruited, it was before the recruiting rules changed actually. So I was recruited after my eighth grade year. So I was very young and it was a completely different coaching staff. Um, I knew I wanted to be in the SEC. And when I visited here in eighth grade, I was with my dad and I just fell in love with the campus and the atmosphere here. Um, so that I just decided to come here and then my senior or my junior year, right before I signed, Jordan was hired. Um, and I was so excited and she kept our whole class obviously when she came. Um, and I I was just like one of those things when I visited, I was like, this is where I want to be. And now being here, my fourth year here, I'm so glad I made that decision because I absolutely love it here. It's definitely very different than home. But in the best way, I got to experience seasons. We don't have that back in South Florida. Um, and now being here with those coaches, I'm so glad I stayed here too because um, they've impacted me in so many ways. So it was just like one of those moments where I was like, this, I know this is where I'm supposed to be. And I just followed my gut. It's one thing to, you know, like a place whenever you go on a visit and be like, I could see myself being here, then actually going through the four years and it like actually yeah. becoming home and kind of like growing up in a sense, like over four years there, what's it been like for you? Um, 
I guess these past four years, ways that you've seen yourself, you know, since that, you know, bright eyed, bushy tailed freshman, I'm sure just coming into like now looking back and being able to kind of reflect on ways you've grown since then. I think the biggest way I've grown since being here is definitely my leadership. I stepped into, I think, well, being a freshman, I was, it was like a shock being there. It was crazy. And it honestly wasn't the easiest for my freshman year, to be honest. And um, with Jordan, she's very on the person you are. And she's definitely influenced me and taught me how to be a leader. And I think just each year it's kind of grown and I've stepped into different ways of leadership. And obviously my gymnastics has grown since I've been here. But I think the leadership role and just the person I am and the team I am is what I've grown the most since being here my freshman year. So backtracking a little bit, um, just to like, I guess, preparing for your freshman year, arriving here, you said that, I mean, you had to go through the, I'm sure that was probably anxiety inducing of like, hey, there's a new coaching staff. Um, and like, I, how much, I guess, did it mean whenever like, you know, the, the new staff came in and was willing to just like take in everybody that had already kind of made that commitment to the university? Yeah, I mean, it meant a lot because she just took a chance on us and was like, we see the potential in y'all and they just believed in us. And I think that was the first step. And I, we actually talked about it not too long ago. I was talking to Chris. I was like, thank you for taking a chance on me freshman year. Like to look back now, four years later, like I didn't think this is where I'd be. So, I mean, it meant a lot that they just stuck to their word and we're here now. So you are a bar specialist. Um, what goes into that? I'm sure like, um, I mean, I'm sure you could talk a lot about this, but like to kind of have that one thing that you're like, this is what I'm going to like, just really try and be good at what, what all goes into like perfecting a s pretty specific craft. Bars has always been my favorite event. Like growing up, I think just cause it came pretty natural to me and I just, I find so much joy in doing it. Um, I think it's just also part of gymnastics, like trying to be perfect. Um, that's like something I could get the every single person on this team would say, like, that's just as a gymnast, you're doing everything you can every single day to fix those little things. Um, so I think for me, it's week by week competing and then going back and looking at our film and seeing where I can get that 1% better or 1% better each week. Um, and it also makes it because like you're doing the same thing every single day. So it brings some challenge to it and some fun to it of like picking those little things where you can get better. But I think now also that being in my fourth year too, it's like I have done it so many times. So now it's just like go out and perform and have fun and enjoy the moment more as like putting all that pressure on yourself. And I think that's something I still like work on continuously is like lifting that pressure and just enjoying myself. Um, Cause now being a senior, it's like, I don't know how many more moments I'm going to have, which is like scary to say, but like, that's just like kind of the realization I had going into this year. Yeah. So what is this year kind of meant to you as far as a sense of like the team is really, I mean, I think everybody's paying attention right now to just the think of the type of things y'all are doing. Um, what's it meant to kind of have for your last ride, the type of success y'all are having? Truthfully, the success we're having really isn't a surprise to me because the work this team put in in the preseason from even before we had our first official practice and we had our team retreat, we went out to Missouri, we sit at like a lodge um, and we do like team activities, we have team meetings, we set our goals. Um, every single person on the team was on the same page. And from that first practice of preseason, it was like you could, you could just see the drive in every single person. So I think seeing it pay off now is so rewarding to see that. But it's also, do we still have more? Like, yes, we broke a record last week, but that wasn't even our best meet. And it's also cool seeing it all in the gym and all that work we do because, like, I know there's more to give. So I'm excited to go into the rest of regular season going into postseason at this point. Um, but each person is a leader in their own way on this team and we push each other to be our best every single day. And I think it was really special having this particular team my senior year because the bond we have is different than any other team I've been on. And when you're so close with all of us girls, it just makes every day so much more special. And I think too, seeing it, I kind of, so in the preseason I had surgery after this past summer. So I didn't 
have as much time actually training this preseason. So I actually got to sit back more and observe, which I never really have done. So I think seeing that too firsthand and now seeing it has been really cool. So you're talking about like the tight bond that the team has, um, you know, and you've talked about you being, you know, now in a leadership role kind of with the team. Has it, have you kind of seen, I guess the team in a way, I know it's a whole collective team, but I mean, has it kind of taken on the type of identity of like what you kind of envisioned to, you know, whenever I'm a senior, this is the type of team I want us to have. Definitely. And I think over the years being here, we've slowly changed the culture and created this driven leadership based culture of like unity. And it's awesome to see it like flourish and come to life. I want to talk about real quick. What's it like for y'all? I mean, of course, everybody talks about y'all on the floor, how good the y'all's floor just always is. Um, But what's it been like for you, especially just, I I feel like the whole team is just so hype every single time (laughs) that, that you get to have those routines. I mean, we always say we're having a floor party, but it's like the hype this we bring to a meet, we do that at practice most of the time. <laughs> so like, it's just like, we all do really have so much joy seeing each other succeed. Um, and we know that they do better when we're at our hypest, cheering them up. But it's like not fake. That's real. We're just having the time of our life. We're having a blast. Um, but we joke about it because like it'll be like a Tuesday morning at like 8 a.m. and they're doing full sets and we're going crazy. We're like, now it's time just to perform when he gets to meet. Like if you just did it on a Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> like just go have some fun, light it up. But our floor team is awesome. And that's just so real. That just us having a blast because we're having so much fun and we're just genuinely so excited for them. Yeah. How much of, I mean, obviously so much of gymnastics has to be mental. Um, and a lot of it also has to just be, you know, routine. Um, how many times you've just practiced it. But, you know, how much do you feel like that work that y'all put in, like you've talked about in the preseason, like it just seems like maybe this year y'all are just like, I, I think about the Alabama meet that y'all were at and like on the, um on your, on the, like comes down to the end and y'all just seem like y'all are so relaxed. you know, how much yeah. do you think that like things that y'all went through preseason and maybe training uh, mentally has paid off? Yeah. This year we kind of emphasized a lot on, trusting our normal and just being us and i think that's what's worked the best for us is just we've done so many numbers and we've done so much in the preseason physically and mentally but like when the time comes just be you because that's enough like i told the team after the last meet i was like all we did tonight was be us and it worked so i just like we just got to keep being who we are and the performance comes with that because it's at that point you've done it so many times like you know how to do it realistically so it's just be you and just just let it happen put it on the floor and just perform i was thinking about it so since you're a senior this year 2024 that means that you were high school senior class of 2020 right yeah oh my goodness this is kind of crazy because it's like i think probably people forget like you're the class of y'all are the seniors this year in college that didn't really get the end of your senior year in high school has it been kind of sweet to get a senior like you're getting senior celebration yeah yeah it's kind of funny because i was i was homeschooled up until my junior year of high school and i went to school so i could get that senior year and like prom and graduation and we never had any of it so it's kind of cool now it definitely was covid our freshman year was definitely really tough it was not what i expected my freshman year to be um but having that senior year and getting to the graduations that was pretty cool yeah so last thing i want to end on um you know being a senior being part of you know, this group that's really just kind of changed the culture of the gymnastics program and changed. I mean, there's always been a lot of uh, eyes on a lot of people love to go and watch gymnastics. But I mean, I feel like this year it's just kind of entering. It's like it keeps pushing yeah. the envelope. Um, What's as being a part of that senior class, being one of the leaders, what do you just kind of hope that your your legacy left behind in, at Arkansas kind of is? I think that I just I hope I can influence the girls around me that that look up to me and just first like to let them know like they are more than gymnastics they're a person because I think that's something that a lot of athletes forget a lot of the time um but I think just don't be afraid to use your voice like speak up say what you believe and just work hard like when you when you speak up and you have the actions behind it to back you up 
you can say you can say what you you need to say to lead a team and i think just being able to influence those girls every single day that like when you work hard and you put your head down and the success comes like you can use your voice and you can lead like never be afraid to step up and say what you're thinking because there's a lot of the time other people are thinking that too and i think as i learned to use my voice here the biggest thing for me was actually stepping up and saying those hard things that you think someone might take wrongly but they're actually like yes like that's what i needed to hear so i think just being brave i would be the word to use um but like having that hard work to back you up awesome well jensen thanks so much for doing this again um don't forget like i said huge match coming up bud walton arena 3 45 p.m on sunday if you can't be there in person which, I mean, it seats 19,200, so there's room for you. Um, but if you can't be there in person, SEC Network Plus. Um, Jensen, thanks for doing this. Thank you so much for having me. That was Jensen Scalzo. She's one of three seniors or graduates on the team alongside Serena Linton and Emma Kelly. Uh, those three will be honored on March 15th. That's next Friday uh, when the team hosts its senior night meet against Nebraska. Well, that'll do it for this episode of the Game Changers podcast. Thanks for tuning in.